What it is guys, it is your boy Deluxe Shrub, and I know it's been a couple of days since the Raiders game. The Raiders finished 8-8. Eight eight. Not the season we've expected. We had our ups and a lot of downs. Hold on guys, I'm gonna close my door. Oh. Oh. So, yes, we had our ups, and we had a lot of downs. So, considering our late season collapse, uh, sitting at 6-3 and three, uh, with playoffs in, in the conversation, and then fall into eight and eight and eliminated from the playoff contention. So you know, a rough year uh, for everybody. Uh, we finished 2021 with a high note with a 32-31 win over the Denver Broncos. So let's just go over the stats. Derek Carr played a a, a good game somewhat. He went 24-38, two 371 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions. Drew Locke went 25 of 41, 339 yards and two touchdowns. One was a 92-yard touchdown to Jerry Judy. Josh Jacobs, 15 carries, 89 yards, two touchdowns. That uh, that put him over 1,000 yards uh, in back-to-back -back years. Uh, Melvin Gordon, 26 carries, 93 yards, one touchdown. Uh, Darren Waller had a phenomenal game, nine receptions, 117 yards, one touchdown, which... which this game had him break Tim Brown's uh, franchise uh, season receptions, I believe. It was like 104. Uh, Darren Waller broke it on Sunday. Uh, so congrats to him. And Jerry Judy, five catches, 140 yards, one touchdown. As I mentioned, he had nine, he had a 92-yard touchdown like late in the game. But then the Raiders rallied back and won with a touchdown and a two-point conversion to Darren Waller. Uh, my thoughts on this game, uh, it it felt like a typical Raiders-Broncos game, if that makes sense. Uh, a typical AFC West rivalry. Uh, and you know, every single... Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm in my eye. So, every single division rival, the Kansas City Chiefs, the Los Angeles Chargers, and the Denver Broncos... No matter what the record says, those games are not going to be easy. Uh, as of the Kansas City Chiefs, obviously we stunned them 40-32. to And then when we played them the second time, we lost a nail-biter. Uh, I think it was 35-31. The Los Angeles Chargers, you know, we, we went to Los Angeles and we beat them uh, on that last play. Uh, you know, Isaiah Johnson hit the ball out. And when they came to Vegas... Oh man, that was a nail biter as well. I was actually kind of disappointed. Uh, the Broncos, we the Raiders swept them. They demolished them in Las Vegas. Then they went to Denver and they squeaked by, which is good. This is I think this is back to back years we swept a division opponent. Last year was the Chargers, and this year is the Broncos. I want to see them. I want to see them sweep the Chiefs. Uh, that'd be cool to see next year if they do sweep the Chiefs. I think the Raiders can with the proper defense. Uh, people are like saying trade car, trade car, get a quarterback. Like we don't need a quarterback, you guys. We do not need a quarterback. We already have a quarterback in Carr. We need a defense to complement Derek Carr and the offense. The offense is set. The defense needs help. I think that's obvious. So, anyways, you guys, that's enough of me ranting. So, anyways, you guys, hope you guys did enjoy that video. This is the last 2020 Raiders review. Uh, next year, I'll be doing this again. Maybe I'll do a couple of videos in the off season if like any trades go down. I'll definitely be giving my my draft uh, thoughts when the draft comes around. So, you know, let's just hope the Raiders can pull out some big some bangers and make some steals. So, anyways, you guys. Hope you guys did enjoy this final uh, review. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that bell so you won't miss any more new videos. And I'm sorry for being late. And go Raiders.